the worst earthquake Japan has ever seen rocked the north of the country in 2011, causing a tsunami and a nuclear disaster, which destroyed pretty much everything in the entire region, killed 20,000 people, and left about half a million homeless. Today we venture into a remote town that's been closed to the public for 12 years, the last town in Fukushima to reopen. We see inside a half dozen abandoned buildings, some of which are completely untouched since the disaster. We even get the chance to speak to a former engineer of the nuclear power plant that melted down and caused the worst nuclear disaster since Chernobyl. Futaba is almost completely abandoned, with only 60 of the original residents returning. Every person I met was wonderful, just super hardworking and humble and friendly and yeah, just amazing people. This is the last video from Ireland to Japan, so I really wanted to go out on a banger and uh, hope you guys enjoy. All right, here are our first sights of uh, Futaba. They recently just opened it back up just like a number of months ago, but you can see here they're taking off all the topsoil and you could see like the whole way here there was all this construction efforts these big um excavators I'm trying to remove the radioactive uh, material so it is a little jarring to see uh, and you can see right here already is the first geiger counter of our trip 0.08 i think that's okay it's not bad i think an x-ray is like one or so i don't know i have no fucking clue wow i hope i don't get fucking cancer after today <laughs> Okay, so after some cheeky Googling, I found out like uh, a round trip flight from like New York to Japan is like 0.1 to 0.2. So we are luckily below that still, but we just gotta keep an eye on the old Geiger counters. It is a bit jarring seeing that right in the station. That's the first thing that welcomes you to uh, the old abandoned village is a fucking Geiger counter. <laughs> Yeah, and this train station is huge. It feels like this should be in like central Tokyo. I mean, it's fucking not small. And there is nobody here. Yeah, empty train station. Brand new, super weird. Oh, there's a guy in there. Hello, guy. Nobody's here? Nobody's here, except for that guy in the cafe. Seems like they've really kind of Oh my god, what's that? Is that a station? That's something, I don't know. But it seems like they really kind of overextended themselves with the uh, reconstruction effort here at the train station. Because no one's here. So I was saying, Koko wa nani? Information center. The school, Omitai. Ah, the... Ukedo Shou Gakko. Ukedo. High School. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Ah, uh, Imakara? Now? Hi. Ah, oh, Imakara. Uh, lunch? Lunch. Uh, do you have lunch? Yeah. Taijibu? Taijibu? I'm going to eat. Hungry? Hi. <laughs> uh, to, walk or a uh, bicycle? Maybe walking or taxi? Taxi? Mm. Taxi. Taxi. No taxi. Ah, shit. <laughs> okay, walking. <laughs> I know, it's toy, toy. Yes, uh, so long. Uh. Long distance. And, and Ukedo Junior High School? Mm. Here. So there are not many restaurants here. Yeah, yeah the restaurant Kutaba Ko Sangyo Kori Center. Just a moment. Okay. Oh, Ego Josie. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's all, that's all. <laughs> and one floor food court. Do you know yakisoba? Of course, much you know. Yes, yes. This nice gentleman then proceeded to read me the entire brochure on this one specific food court, quizzing me on each food group. Hamburger. Mm -hmm. After an extremely thorough explanation of Futaba's only tourist attraction, I wanted to pivot the conversation away from yakisoba and hamburgers and learn more about the nuclear disaster. Koko ni hito ga return to ah now sixteen people return to Futaba town. Wow, not many people. No, 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 But is it safe? no, 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 problem. no, 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 you? Uh, I want to show people that it's mm. okay to come here. Maybe it's not so dangerous mm. because there's like no tourists here. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe maybe it is dangerous. I don't know. But kawaii. Mm. Kawaii. Mm. For gaijin. Ah, ah mm. so ka. So da ne. Boku no Canada no onisan, Fukushima no dame te yutteru. 
戻らない。あ、いつに来ましたかえ、去年。With your family? No, no, I, my family living in, in 茨城。僕一人、only one? 一人。うん。ああ。No problem. わあ、うん。大丈夫。So you,、uh, you love Futaba? あ<笑>少し。あ<笑>り<笑><笑>て。けどなんで来ましたかあ、仕事、ジョブ。ああ。僕、どちらかというと建設、なんつったらいいかな。難しいな。っていうか、うん、仕事で来た。で、そのまま仕事できて、そのままいた。なんつったら難しいかな。うんうん、僕はあのエンジニア。エンジニア。うん、ええー。Yes, and 福島第一原発エンジニア。うん、でも、もうリタイアル。ええー。So, 2011年、働いてましたか。ああ、yes, yes, yes, yes.2011、えー、年、うん、いたいたいた。Wow. After this man revealed to me that he worked at the power plant, The day it melted down. It was a big revelation, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't really want to press him on it because I know he definitely has some demons and、um, Japanese people aren't the most open about stuff like that. So I just wanted to leave it at that. But yeah, it's pretty fucking crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. That's crazy. There's no convenience here. Yes. That's it. コンビニがありませんか no, 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 no. What? What? The only place in Japan without convenience stores. The only place. <laughs> well, so the only place I can get food is out here at 12 o'clock, or I can walk to a shopping mall. Yes, factory and towel. Factory open. Oh, wow. Factory? Yes. What, what factory? Um, bus towel. Okay. And face towel.、Uh, so this is big tourists. Yes, big. <laughs> and and fa- famous factory. Ah, o k a y Ah. Just wait a minute. Maybe I will be the only person there.、Yes. After getting a thorough explanation of the riveting tourist attractions in Futaba, I was finally ready to hit the street. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Do you have a bike? Oh, I guess you can rent them from there.、Mm. Ah, okay. Yeah, maybe hitchhiking. Maybe hitchhiking. Hitchhiking? <laughs> <laughs>、oh, hitchhiking, bike. Oh. Bike, bike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I knew this place would be a ghost town, but I did not realize there'd be literally nothing. No convenience. I haven't eaten today. It's almost noon. Um, <laughs> fuck. Well, I think this is gonna be a little misadventure today. Yeah, so a big reason I'm here is to see like all the abandoned buildings, man. I think there's fuck tons of them. The ones that haven't been torn down. I mean, just right next to the station, there's, there's shit going on. But yeah, there's an abandoned school you can go to. They've kind of turned it into a little museum. I don't know, I feel like it's kind of like. When you see these abandoned buildings, it's kind of like stepping back into a time capsule. So I feel like、uh, it'll be very instructive, very、uh, educational. Hey, dude. Wow. Shit, dude. It's like a whole compound. It's totally abandoned. You can see like the trees are growing inside there. Look, they left their laundry up. Laundry up to dry in there, and it's just been sitting there for a decade. Also, I'm just holding all these pamphlets this man gave to me. I find it hilarious and kind of sad that one of the biggest tourist things is a、uh, bath towel factory. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Why would anyone be interested in going to a bath towel factory? It's so random. All the windows have been cracked. Really eerie, actually. Wow. Look, you can see documents on the table there. It's just, just falling over. There's a big wardrobe just fucking completely falling over. 
I really would like to go in this house, but um, it's right next to the road and there's people around. Jesus, the fucking floor, dude. It's like caving in. I guess it makes sense. There was a fucking earthquake and then a tsunami. Jesus, bro. Oh my goodness. Is this a good idea? I feel like it's probably not. The floor is cracking underneath my feet. Holy shit. Dude, that floor is fucking not safe, dude. Probably the reason why they barricaded it off. Jesus Christ. Yeah, when, like, I guess when the tsunami hit, the whole town was just flooded. Dude, that is like walking on a fucking toothpick, bro. Is it any better over here? It is not. Someone's old baseball cap. Their old work uniform. Wonder how long it's been since someone's touched that. The old rice cooker. Jesus, fucking dude, this, the building is like making noises. It is so unstable. Let's see if we can see in the old fridge. Wow, also incredibly unstable. Not surprised. What is that? It's not like molded or anything. Bro. It's a perfectly looking preserved bottle of Coca-Cola from 2011. Wow, the old logo and everything. Oh my God. That is crazy. Dude. Cause you would think it would be moldy, right? Like. A bottle of Coke from a decade ago. It's water, dude. It's not moldy or anything. What the fuck? Let's do a taste test. Ha ha ha. No. That is actually insane. Well, I think that's all we're gonna see at this house, unless I wanna get a fucking broken leg. This is somebody's home. They just had to, uh, Abandon it. Yeah, so the evacuation order lifted just a few months ago. And I feel like you would expect to see people back, but Homeboy said there's literally only 60 people in this town, dude. Yeah, and there's a law in Japan where um, if, you know, if this is your home, the Japanese government reaches out to you and they say, hey, can we tear your home down and build something else? And if you don't get back to them, they just keep it. So there's tons of abandoned houses like this. So uh, I'm sure we're gonna see a lot more today. So we are rolling up on something that is very sad. Uh, right now it's about 12 noon and that clock says 2.47 or 48. That is right when the Fukushima nuclear disaster happened, right when the earthquake hit. Was it, I think 2.46 p.m.? But yeah, the clock has just stood still in time as, long, um, as well as this uh, fire station. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. There's, um the fire suits oh my goodness this is uh, extremely eerie wow wow their fire hats are just sitting out just uh, suspended in time forever. 
It's an old television from back in the day. There's still writing on the whiteboard. Wow. Old historic photographs. Oh my God, the whiteboard markers still have dust on them. Wow, dude, the hats, the fresh batteries in the pack, the cigarettes. I mean, this is untouched. And I'm right by the road, oh fuck. Definitely breaking some kind of laws right now. Wow, dude. Let's see the, wow, dude, I don't even wanna touch that, that's a, that's a coffee can, and you can see the date, April 4th, 2013, it expires. Wow, dude. It's just right off the road. The guys, we're right next to the station. There's little energy drinks. This is, this is so interesting. Looks like somebody was cooking here. You can imagine they're just cooking, minding their business, you know, smoking cigarettes, drinking coffee, and then Japan's biggest ever earthquake hits. Like, what do you do? I mean, they're firefighters. They're probably fucking dipped out of here, did their jobs, you know? But wow, dude. It's just, um, this is really heavy. You would think they would, like, you know, clean this up or do something. It's just, it's just fucking suspended in time. Wow. Yeah, if this was in the US, there'd be like, kids would party in here and there'd be graffiti and everything. But I mean, number one, Japanese people would never do that. And number two, I feel like people just don't want to come back here. Like they said, the guy in the shop said, like, there's only 60 people to come back to this town. So, like, there's not even kids to party here. And honestly, like, this would be a lit-ass spot. They got fucking benches. You got a table. Oh, my God. This is really heavy. Wow. The old energy drink cans with a decade of dust on them. Wow, there's still energy drink in there. Let's see when it expires. December 2013. That is crazy, dude. I feel like I'm in some kind of fucked up museum right now. Wow, yeah. Yeah, and I guess when the earthquake hit, all the sake bottles and like glasses just <sighs> fell down. This place is super eerie. Keeping here, old chopsticks on the ground. Wow, I feel like I, I like don't want to mess this up. I feel like it's still in pristine condition. Let's see what this is. Some kind of note taking. Wow, it's all pristine. I don't know what the fuck it is. Edge technology for 2011. They got the uniforms in here. This doesn't even have dust on it. Wow. This is 
really eerie. Wow, dear. these vending machines work. Yeah, they do, they still have power. Right? It does look like current prices, right? I'm gonna put a little coin in and see if it works. Yeah, it does not work. <laughs> Let's see if the cigarette machine works. Ah, shit. Wow. Yeah, I noticed the old Coca-Cola slogan or the little logo and I was like, I wonder if it was from 2011, but dude, this is abandoned too. Old service station. My goodness, man, so creepy. This one's a lot more destroyed than the um, the firefighter the fire station. And just the displays are just stood still in time, man. It's so eerie. Oh my God, it's a bus. Signs of civilization. And look, there's our food truck bus over there. I guess they like deliver food or something. Yeah, I think this is gonna be our only chance to eat for the day, so I might as well take it. So I don't know if the dust in there, I was thinking about it, I watched Chernobyl back in the day, like the HBO series, and I'm wondering, is the dust I'm touching radioactive? It's a very scary thought, and I'm gonna have to Google it and uh, get back to you guys, but I don't like the prospect of touching radioactive shit. I say that as I came specifically to a radioactive town. Oh my God, abandoned motorcycle. Bro. So interesting. Wow, look at the bus. I wonder where it goes. No one's on it. <laughs> Whoa, this is crazy. So this Eon Toyota right here behind me, it's actually a grocery store. And it looks like they have like straight up groceries. You can buy like little canned soups and shit like that. It's a mobile grocery store. Wow. Wait, this is actually amazing. They have boxed up curry. Amazing. Oh, you got honey. All kinds of ingredients here. Jesus, wow. Wait, they got bento boxes? Oh, dude. Hell yeah, son. What the fuck? That's amazing. Yeah, I guess if they don't have fucking grocery stores, they needed a truck to deliver their groceries. That's crazy. Oh, wow. So, say, konnichiwa. It's bento. Bento. Ah, bento this. Ah, nice. Karaage desu ka? Karaage desu. Hokkaido no karaage. Eh. Watashi ga Hokkaido no. Ah, Hokkaido jin. Takara de Hokkaido. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Hi. To Nakafura no. Nakafura no. Hi. For the nice. For the Rabenda. Ah, Rabenda, kire da mo. Hi, kire desu. Itsu itta n desu ko? Four years mai. Four years mai. Hi. Ara, kire na toki itta. Melon tabeta? Hi, yes. Nakafura no melon yuume. Hi. Can I get some karaage? Karaage. Hi. Hitatsu. Hi, gato daimas. Futaba ni sumi sumimasu ka? Ah, ito ne, Nara Fumachi. うん。この、なんだけど、来月でも帰ろう。北海道帰ります。夏。夏。暑い。暑い。とても暑い。だから北海道帰ろう。あ、オッケー。冬。北海道雪すごい。うん。冬こっち。ふたば人いません。ノブ
Wow. Bye bye. Oh, you can't script that. This man just ran over, literally sprinted over here. <laughs> I'm not even surprised. I'm just really taken aback by his uh, generosity. Look, he's fucking legging it over there. What? I got a present? Wow, so sweet. What is it? Oh, I think it's a, oh, it's a omelet with yakitori sauce and nori flakes and mayonnaise. Nice it, mecha nice it. What a sweet lady. Oh wait, there's like pork in there. Oh, fuck me. What the fuck? Mmm. I don't know what this is, but it's delicious. And it was free. Hmm. Yes, I am slightly worried, actually terrified about what I just did in that abandoned shop, or the abandoned uh, <sighs> fire station, touching the dust and stuff. I feel like that was a really dumb move. So I'm gonna ask Homeboy in here if um, he has a Geiger counter, or like if he can verify if I'm fucking doomed or not. Is he here? He's not here anymore. Ah, so you're Como hito wa doko ni ikimashita ka? The well, I don't know what to do. I feel really stupid right now. I feel like I did something really dumb by going into that um, abandoned building with the dust and the... I don't know if you can see my face is wet. I fucking washed it furiously in the bathroom trying to get the dust and stuff off. I'm gonna put my shoes next to the Geiger counter and uh, see. If, uh, I don't even know how this thing works. Where do I even put it, dude? Do I just stand next to it? This is so stupid. It has not changed. The number is 0.26. I'm just gonna move my shoes around here and see if it, well, the reading is not changing. This is an idiotic thing to do. I feel really fucking stupid. I did like the one thing you're not supposed to do here, which is like touch the organic material. I touched the dust. To be fair, it was just on one energy drink, but I opened the books. I could have breathed in some shit. I don't know, I don't know what to do, man. Ah, so you can see what you can see. Gaiga counter, guy, you must go. Gaiga counter. Gaiga counter. Ah, Sendio Ken no Oto. <laughs> Maybe in there. Uh, what is this? What the fuck? Just stepped into a dystopian salaryman reality. Fuck. I fill out a form. I just want a fucking Geiger counter, bro. Oh, okay. Okay. I think he's going back and checking with the homie, raising our ruckus for the idiot the foreigner. That's a team effort to help my dumb idiot ass. I've disrupted four people's work days successfully. No, they are uh, preparing to. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And. and What's the purpose of the uh, staying here? Seeing the uh, the school? Ukedo Elementary School. Ukedo. Yeah, that's right. I just want to be uh, safe. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, so they're all crowded around over there. Japanese bureaucracy, hard at work. It's not like Vietnam where you can just give them $10 and do whatever you want. Ukedo is in the Namie town, okay. so maybe you must ask to Namie town office. But if, if I stay in Futaba, in, in can I use Gaiga Kanta here, if I stay here? I feel like this should not be this difficult. After explaining my situation over and over to a growing crowd of curious salarymen, I was about to finally get some answers. What is your purpose of resisting the, the shuttle? Oh, just to test my clothes. I got maybe dirty with the ah. dust of the radiation. You want to test your clothes? Oh, uh, yeah. Ah, you can go to this screening area uh. and you can be tested. 
Thank you. 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 Thank I feel like it's very inefficient. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm in a little bit better of a mood because um, they told me I probably don't have ball cancer. They said um, it's okay to touch things, although common sense, common sense would tell me that is not correct. Uh, the radioactive dust and shit, I don't know, dude. This vlog is another fucking disaster. Seems to be on brand for this channel these days. But they did give me like the name of a place I can go test my clothes to see if I'm contaminated or whatever. So I think I'm gonna do that. Um, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. You might not believe it based on my behavior, but I do take my health seriously. And uh, I'm not trying to get fucking ass cancer from making a YouTube video that gets a thousand views. So. <laughs> I'm gonna go test my clothing before we uh, continue with today's misadventure. Yeah, so at the current moment, Futaba is just abandoned buildings and construction sites. That's all there is to see here. Fucking abandoned buildings and construction sites. They are desperately trying to rebuild this place after the tsunami, the earthquake, and nuclear disaster at a fucking three for one. See, they're building a new, uh, I think it's the new rail line. They're, they're pouring money into this place, dude. I, I read something like $300 billion they've spent on this place already, and they're gonna continue cleaning it up for the next 40 fucking years. They've just opened this town, so I feel like all the refurbishments and everything are, are like super fresh. And uh, yeah, just weird vibes here, man. Just construction workers and empty buildings. And my idiot ass trying to make a video. <laughs> Yeah, so here we have a brand new bridge, new road, some kind of fucking fence, I don't know. New station, new housing development, new fucking whatever the fuck, new bridge. Yeah, still no one's here and they're just begging people to come back, dude. And Japan already has an issue with depopulation. There's a shit ton of ghost towns in Japan already. You know, unfortunately, the, uh, the disaster has created many ghost towns in the north of Japan. And only 60 people have come back. <laughs> it's really a ridiculous statistic. I feel like even the people that are working here don't live here. Like they just commute or whatever to help rebuild. And even they don't want to live here. <laughs> the funny thing is it says together, but no one is here. Who are we together with? Me with this man here. Hello, sir. Are we together? I love you, sir. Atarashi building. Atarashi. No. Ordo. Ordo. Ah, furui. Yeah. Sundeiru. No. You live here. Ah, uh, work. Shigoto. Work. Ah, no live. Yeah. Yeah. Hito inai. Ah, hito. Ma. Yeah. So so. Nande. Kawaii. Uh, Kawaii. No. Uh, house. Break. Ah. Uh, house break. There's no yeah. houses. Yeah. Takara. Kamatte kudasai. Yeah. Ne. Arigato gozaimasu. All right. <laughs> Holy shit. What is this? More wreckage. More absolute fucking carnage. You can see this place just got ripped to shreds by the, uh, the earthquake. Whoa. What it is, there's no telling, but it's clear that it got fucking wrecked. Dear God. Some kind of factory or something? Some kind of warehouse or... Uh, let's do some more trespassing. Wow. These machines look older than 2011, I gotta say. clue what this is but this is the stuff of fucking nightmares of horror movies i feel like freddy krueger is gonna jump out and molest me what the fuck? who knows man these just eerie sights everywhere like <laughs> dude 
every single building is either abandoned and destroyed or they're in the process of tearing it down or they're building new shit. It's a town that is going through uh, quite the transition. And it is creepy. I will say though, if, uh, if you're into abandoned buildings, this is the place to come. I mean, they're fucking everywhere. Like, just take your pig. Also, if you're a fan of construction sites, you'll love it here. Hello, sir. <laughs> well, I know we're on our way to go get tested for ball cancer, but I just, I can't help myself. These buildings are just so interesting. There's another one. Just open it. This must have been an old apartment building. See the um, old mailboxes. I think, right? Looks like it's been cleared out though. Looks like they've actually made an effort to uh, clean this one out. make a yoga studio in here hmm think about it business idea oh is this a spa they have an old yeah this is an old spa hmm room 101 yeah it's a Rio Com, bro it's a completely abandoned spa Wow, it smells like my grandma's house. Sorry, Nyonji, I'm gonna walk my dirty shoes on the Tatami mat. Yeah, I imagine this used to be like an old resort. Yeah. There's probably like a nice garden back there a decade ago. I got the vintage fucking light. Watch it still work, dude. Yeah, not a, I mean, definitely a budget Ryokan, but still it's nice. I don't know why I'm obsessed with trying all the lights, but yeah. yeah. It just smells ancient in here. There's nothing. And honestly, this building is like, honestly, this building is like pretty well maintained considering everything it went through. Yeah, same shit. Old budget Ryokan. I think we're rolling up on the, uh, the screening place. Look at these guys, they don't do shit all day. I'm about to blow their fucking minds. Fucking white guy needs to close screen. Screening. できますかはい、いいですかオッケー。すいません。あ、ちょっとね。日本語大丈夫です。日本語大丈夫。あの、スクリーニングお願いします。いいですかいいです。はい、ありがとうございます。何をですかね。うん、天津。靴。靴。パ
Yeah, English. Uh, uh, we're all, we've all come out. <laughs> uh, they're all coming out to help. Japanese style. Oh, are the levels on my clothes okay? Oh, it's like that. The level. This? And one more question. Um breathing. いいですかああ、ありがとうございます。ああ、ありがとうございます。ああ、ありがとうございます。ああ、ありがとうございます。ああ、ありがとうございます。ああ、ありがとうございます。ああ、ありがとうございます。ああ、ありがとうございます。
YouTuber, hi, hi, hi. YouTuber, hi. GoPro. Ah, do you want to go? Ah, I'm working. Ah, I'm going to go. Ah, I'm going to go. Ah, I'm going to go. Japanese people are so friendly, especially here in the north. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, like, I don't know if I would go back, dude. Like, because I mean, all the things that make your home your home are gone. Your friends, your family, your home, literally your fucking house is gone. So I just feel like the, to, you know, the locals that used to live here, this is probably a foreign land now. You know, it looks totally different. Houses are leveled, it's just construction sites and overgrown fucking trees and shit. So I don't know, man. It's really weird being here, though. I'm really glad I, I'm really glad I came and experienced uh, Japan's nuclear wasteland. Ooh. It's really not that bad though. It is very eerie, but anyways, guys, if you've been with the channel for any time now, if you've been with the channel for the last month, you'll know we started in Ireland. We made it all the way to motherfucking Japan, baby. Rode a motorcycle across Europe, fucking went to the Middle East, Iraq, Turkey, Pakistan, India, all over the world, man, in three years, <laughs> three years, in a year. And uh, it's been one of the greatest adventures of my life. It's been fucking exhausting. Uh, I'm about to go home in like three days, so I'm actually really looking forward to that But just wanted to give you guys one last adventure in Japan. I don't know where I'm gonna see you guys next I think I'm gonna take a little break and fucking rest, but please make sure you subscribe Join the patreon do whatever you can to support like leave a comment share with your friends literally whatever you can because um Yeah, I'm trying to make this my full-time thing and I would really appreciate any support you guys can give Subscribing is free <laughs> Anyways guys, thank you so much if you've been here for the whole journey Thank you so much for coming and uh, letting me show you the world. It's been fucking amazing. So thanks guys. See you in the next one. Peace.